The new version of Tracy.3 comes with many new features, such as memory profiling, call stack capture or Vulkan support. Performance improvements on both client and server make it run even smoother than before. Let's take a quick look at the changes. Tracy will no longer crash when trying to open invalid trace files. An upgrade prompt will be displayed when trying to open incompatible files. Newly added navigational buttons allow you to easily go to the next or previous frame. Zone analysis using the Zone Info window was previously lacking the undo function. Now this has been fixed with the introduction of a Go Back button, which returns to the previously viewed zone. Another new feature is the Statistics button, which displays general behavior of the current zone in the Find Zone menu. The message list has gained a visual uplift and now also displays the originating thread of each message. The statistics menu previously displayed zone execution stats including time of the children. The children execution time can be now excluded, which shines a completely new light on the data. Each captured zone may now have a dynamically generated custom name. This allows much quicker inspection of the timeline, without the need to check each zone for custom user text. The internal hardware clocks of CPU and GPU are not necessarily synchronized. In this capture you can see that the GPU has completed its work before it was issued by CPU. This issue can be now addressed by setting the GPU clock drift modifier, which will skew the captured values to be in line with the CPU clock. You can see that the GPU zones are moving forward in time, as the drift parameter is changed. Previously it was hard to determine whether your optimization work made any impact. Now you can load a previous trace in the Compare menu and see the change of execution speed of any zone on a single, easy-to-read graph that you already know from the Find Zone menu. Using the new memory profiling functionality is as easy as adding two macros to the memory allocation operators. Doing so will enable automatic generation of the memory usage plot. Note that unlike the ordinary plot, this one will display memory event data in a tooltip. Clicking on a data point will open the memory window with detailed information about the memory event. This menu also displays a list of active allocations. Oops! We're leaking memory. The last feature here is Memory Map View, which shows a graphical representation of process memory. We will now use the Restrict Time option to go back in time. The purple line in the middle of the timeline view indicates the point at which the memory map is displaying data. Note that this feature also applies to the active allocations list. The Zone Info window now displays memory events that happened when the zone was executing. You can inspect each one of them by expanding the allocations list. Tracy can now capture true function call stacks. To do so, you only need to use an alternative zone scope macro, providing the maximum depth of the capture you want to perform. The captured call stacks are displayed for each memory event. The tooltip shows only the abbreviated list. Clicking on the call stack button will display full list of frames, with function names and their locations in the source files. Call stack information is also available for each captured zone. The zone trace list that you know from the previous version has been augmented with the call stack information, and now it displays functions that were not explicitly captured during the profiling run. Here you can see that not all functions were captured. It should be noted that the zone trace list is only a reconstruction of the call stack. In case of this zone the profiler was not able to provide a full list of frames. This happened because some of the parent zones didn't had call stack capture enabled. As you can see, this zone has full call stack data available in the appropriate menu. 
The full list of changes in Tracy Profiler version.3 can be seen at the following address. You're always welcome to report bugs, propose new improvements, or submit your own patches there. Have fun making your programs run faster and let's see each other when the next release lands.